look out because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block it. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Bridgewater now from the 50. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And they get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-bodied tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Oh, Bridgewater intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Throwing, Bridgewater, that's to McCaffrey, complete. Bridgewater that catch good for only a couple. Complete two One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Complete Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Six yards, and it's third down. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Desperation time, fourth down, Bridgewater. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass, it's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here. Fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And a yard. Steps away. And now he's going to use his legs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He'll buy, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The quarterback taken down. Brian Burns, his second Brian sack Brian of the night. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It's a gain of seven. Brings up third and nine. Out of the gun now on third down. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. He 
Here's Thomas Morstead now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. And here comes a big tight end as he gets set for this next drive. And look at the numbers. They have gotten him more involved. I guess the question now, Charles, defensively, how do you make him less involved? That's always a key question, isn't it? Sometimes other guys are starting to play really well and you shift your attention to them. You got to make sure you got full focus on it because he's so good that if you don't, he finds a way to make plays. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Cameron Jordan in there for the sack, and it's an important one from a personal standpoint as that is sack number 100 in what has certainly been a terrific career to this point. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. McCaffrey able to break the tackle, but then quickly brought down just outside of the five. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. It's a gain of two yards, and it's third. Now Bridgewater. Room past the 20. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. As they'll finally stop him at the 23-yard line. Brandon has certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And to give this time to the tailback. And this will go for five up to the 33. Carried by number 34. Second and five. Tony Jefferson on the tackle. A gain of five brings up second and five. And this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. First and ten at the 42-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, <laughs> carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 40. He'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the Panthers' 46-yard line. He'll run it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. First down, he'll drop to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 
10. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. First down. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. Now a handoff here to his running back. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. The shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Darius Bradwell. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time <laughs> they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. What's good on the extra point? And the lead now up to 14. 14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And this carries into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Bridgewater and the Panthers now. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 46 to go. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. A first down throw for Bridgewater. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And the second down throw on target. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Complete. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. And he's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third and 13. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this, when I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. The New Orleans offense set to take over. 
And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. And they will take a knee here. And they cannot do anything to stop the clock defensively. Three straight wins to start the campaign now. And this is where a team, privately, within the confines of their own room, their meeting rooms, the locker room, they start to think to themselves, we're pretty good. We should be a playoff team. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they plan to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for New Orleans, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 and now on the young season. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Buffalo Bills next week. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And, and they will be at home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins.